Today we will discuss something very conceptual and the very first thing that we will cover is what is a function and the next question that we will take up will be why we expand a function. So the very first thing is a function f of x. Then this function is having infinite number of components. We expand this function into an infinite number of polynomials. How we expand this function? We expand this function with the help of tables series. And the question that why we expand the function? Because we want to know the behavior of this function. So the behavior of this function can be guessed by expanding it into its individual components. Every function can be expanded with the help of Taylor series. What is Taylor series? If we are having a function f of x, then this is equal, this can be expanded is the value of a function a a and then we can write the next term is the derivative of this function at any point a divided by 1 factorial and x minus a plus double derivative of this function at a and by 2 factorial and x minus a and this will be squared plus and so on and the inner term we can write is summation on n which runs from 0 to infinity and f of n a divided by n factorial and x minus a to the power n. So this is the way to expand a function and now with the help of Taylor series any function for example we are having a function e to the power x then we will put the value means certain value and e to the power x it is centered at x equal to 0 so this a will be the z center point like e to the power x for example i write the function e to the power x if f of x is equal to e to the power x. Now I want to expand this function with the help of Taylor series. So this expansion will be then of e of x. So I will write e of x. Then the very first thing that I will calculate this e of x will be here we will calculate this a point will be equal to 0 because this function is centered at x equal to 0. It starts from that value. So the way first I will write e to the power 0 plus then I will write the first derivative of it. And what is the first derivative of it? The first derivative of this function is equal to again e to the power x and I will put for x equal to 0 and then e to the power 0 divided by 1 factorial and x minus 0 and then the second term will be again the derivative of e, the double derivative of e to the power x which will be again e power x and the value at e z at x equal to 0 by 2 factorial and then x minus 0 squared and so on. So this function will come out to be 
e to the power x is equal to e power 0 is 1 plus x by 1 factorial plus x squared by 2 factorial and we can write the other terms as well 3 factorial plus and so on and finally we will have x to the power n divided by n factorial so now this function is e to the power x is 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed by 3 and so on now look here if I want now to understand this thing, then how e to the power x is equal to this thing? There are infinite number of terms because I can write that this term, which is the inner term, n runs from 0 to infinity. I will write equality here. Now, n runs from 0 to infinity, x to the power n and n factorial. If I put n equal to 0, I will get this value, n equal to 1, n equal to 2, n equal to 3. There are infinite number of terms in this series. Now, how I will understand this one? If I look at this one, like I plot e to the power x, and then I plot 1. 1 is a constant value x is a straight line value and then x squared is parabolic x cube is having trend like this then how they are equal and then the third question that we are addressing here is approximation then what is meant by approximation we approximate a function and here you know the very famous approximation that if x is very very small then the higher powers of x will be neglected the higher powers of x will be neglected and we can write that e to the power of x is approximately 1 plus x how this e to the power x is approximately equal to this for x very very small. Now we will see this thing. And in order to see this thing, let's come to the plotting software. The software that I am using here is this one which is graph and this is version 4.42. So in this one, the very first function that I am plotting is e to the power x and this is e to the power x. Now I am plotting the very first term which is 1. So if I plot 1 here with this, then you see that 1 is just a straight line, a horizontal line. And if I plot with this x then you can see it is this one. X is a straight line here. You can see that X is a straight line. This is a straight line but horizontal line. And now if I plot the second term in this series which is X square by 2. Then X square by 2 is actually this one. So we are seeing that the shape is completely different for each uh, polynomial. All these we call polynomials. And if I plot the next one which is x cubed by 3 then it is like this. And x, cube, x 4 by 24 because if I find out the factorial of 4 then it is 24. So it is equal to this. And similarly, x5 will be equal to this. So I have plotted, for example, the first six terms. Now I'm removing all these and 
look to the addition of the first two terms which is the first two terms are actually 1 plus x so I am adding the first two terms and look here that 1 plus x is equal to this then you see here that this function the 1 plus s is approximately equal to e to the power x in this very small range and if I plot the second term with third term with this one as well like 1 plus x plus x square by 2 pictorial then it is equal to this you see the matching is increasing over here we can see that the matching is increasing from this point to this point the function the e to the power x and 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial are almost the same in a very small range if I plot the next term with this one now you see when another term is added then the green color plot is pretty much coinciding with that one you see so it is getting closer and closer to the e to the power x as much as I am adding the functions if I plot the fourth the fifth term as well with this then you can see closer than that one if I just zoom in this plot then you can see here that only considering this portion you can see that now the pink color which is actually this plot is much much closer to the function and if I add the next term then you can see that almost it is overlapping so as I go on increasing the number of terms in this expansion I am getting that function back so it means e to the power x I got in terms of polynomials and look here that the polynomials are actually different in this range means they are not touching here but in order to touch these values as well we will have because this violet color is our most you can say variables in this one and we are having on this side very good matching but as we go to the top values then we see there is a difference between them so the difference is increasing if we go to higher values if we increase the number of terms in this series then we will be able to have the matching on this side as well so this is the way that expansion of a function is actually helping us in understanding the behavior of the function now if I put the limits that if x is very very small then I can approximate this is 1 plus x can I approximate this to 1 so the answer is no because when x will be exactly 0 then this will be 1 but when x will have some value then very very small value but some value then it will go to the next term as well and let me show this thing here that how we can see this thing means with this function let me plot 1 plus x now 1 plus x is here so I am seeing that when x is running from 0 to 1 then there is a very big change between the two function so x is less than 1 so I am going to some small values here now you see that minus 1 is here and 1 is here but the function is matching somewhere less than 0.2 for less than 0.2 the functions are actually coinciding with each other 
and let me expand it more and you can see that when x is approximately 0.1 then the function is matching in this range and that means the approximation is valid that the behavior or the attitude of the two function is the same if x is very very small I can further increase this one then you can see this is the point where exactly they are overlapping each other so for the x very very small we are having this approximation is valid not one only because if I plot one only with this like I plot only one with this then this is you can say only almost single point it is touching so it is not the exact approximation the exact approximation is that e to the power x goes to 1 plus x when it is the x is very very small right okay